Welcome back to the vlog and welcome to 2022. It's a brand new year. 2021 is gone and now it's a brand new opportunity to start the year again to set goals to create a vision and to just go after your dreams and do whatever it is that you want with your life because there's a whole new year ahead and the possibilities are endless and today I'm going to talk to you all about why I set my new year's resolution to just be the worst artist I can be to just be a bad artist so Let's talk about it. But first, I want to show you what I'm working on today. I just completed a material slash color slash style study. And basically what I did is I painted 16 different 12 by 12 canvases like these. And these two are my favorite. <laughs> What I wanted to do was explore all of my ideas in a small scale. That way I can take a step back, look at all of them, and explore these ideas at a larger scale, like on a bigger canvas. Or, a skateboard, baby! And today, we're gonna do just that. We're gonna paint two skateboards inspired by my last series. And this is how we're gonna do it. We're gonna use this board as inspiration for the first piece. At first, it looks like it's solid black. But when you look up close, you can see that it's a black on black do you boo boo piece. We'll start with the black on black do you boo boo, and then we're gonna add pink letters just like this one. And for the next board, we're gonna do a black on white piece just like this one. After we're done, we're going to pour pink epoxy over it just so that we can get this cool overlaying effect and turn it into a black and pink piece. So let's get to it. I've spent the past three years figuring out how to be a good artist. No, how to be a great artist. How to be the most amazing artist that this world has ever seen. And I'm starting to think that that has actually hindered me more than it's helped me. See, what I've learned about myself the past couple of years is that having crazy expectations like being a famous artist, being the best artist there is in the world, or getting a million subscribers on YouTube through my art can actually put on a lot of pressure on me. So sometimes that actually makes me not want to create. That's why it's important to find creative ways to alleviate the pressure and allow our creativity to flow even if it means being a bad artist. The most valuable thing an artist can do is simply create. Allow himself or herself to let go of every expectation. To just be vulnerable and authentic and simply pour their hearts and soul into their work. It's actually a cheat code. If you allow yourself to be bad, you give yourself permission to be free and simply create for the sake of creating. So I ran out of time and I was only able to finish this board. I guess that's what it means to be a bad artist. What do you think creative world? Let me know in the comments below how you think this board turned out. I think it turned out pretty bad. And that's it, creative world. It's a brand new spanking year, and I'm encouraging you to go out there and be a bad artist. Go out there and be the worst artist you can be. And until next time, never stop creating.